Alrighty, Roo and Cuckoo Kachu to you and all my nobodies not watching out there. Let's fucking go! New game goes brrrr! Please enter your name. Damn it. Um, I'm just gonna go technique, I guess. I mean, that makes sense, right? I can't spell my own names. Where's the cues? Okay. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Is that how I spell it? Yeah, because I didn't have enough space to do the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. I'm such an idiot. I hope I have it right. Or I'll feel very stupid. You're a stupid boy. You'll never do science. Okay, um. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Anyway, boop. We'll go with that. Doesn't look right. Eh, we're just gonna. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. So interesting. Was that kind of like a. 3D modeling or or standard animation. It looks like some sort of weird hybrid of the two. Or maybe it's just really good 2D, but I don't know. The textures don't seem right. They put way too much attention to detail for for it to be for, I mean, I guess not for it to be 2D, but I don't know. It just seems like they Use the mix or, or some sort of filter on, on 3D. Anyway, moving on. Hey! So yeah, we're just good. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. I can already tell she's annoying. Like, I must know her or... Uh, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious. To any attention she might draw to herself. I mean, anime dog ain't gotta explain nothing. Um, that girl is Sayori, my neighborhood and neighbor and good friend since we were children. So, like, how close of a neighbor is she? Like, if she's your neighbor, do you mean like next door or just somebody who lives in your neighborhood, thus a neighbor by proxy? Because if she's, like, far away, she has to run to you. Those houses aren't very far apart. There's, like... Like, literally, if you look at that one... Like, the house that's in front of us. If you open the window on that... on that's, That you can see, that's facing the, how, the next house. If there was a window on the other side... And you were... And you had both open. And you were a particularly talented parkourist. Or even just a guy who could jump. You could probably make the distance. You could just jump from one room to another. Because it's up to down. You know? Just saying. Doesn't look like they're very far away. But... So I'm guessing she's a neighborhood girl. Not that it matters. I'm just... Pedantics. It's part of the thing I do here. Welcome to the channel. Um... You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? Oh god, yes. I think I'm pretty much that person for almost everybody I know in real life. Um, you know, it's one of those things like, how are we friends? Like, I don't know, man. Life just could be like that. Maybe that's who we were then. You know, or maybe like, I think I'm that for other people, less that they're that for me. Although I do know definitely, like, other cases for me that would apply to, just because, like, oh yeah, no, I've so changed. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. I mean, that, yeah, no, no, fam, like, you sleep in, I, I'm not going to be late for you. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. I got class to get to. Like, if we're not close enough that I could just go into your house and be like, Get up. 
now or walk alone. Just leave. Yeah, you got you got you got work to do. School. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> just no. She's just gonna try to pepe le pew you and you're just like, nah fam. I'm not about that life. <laughs> I don't know her. That's my purse. I don't know you. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Okay, so it was... I am I was thought she was approaching you. I mean, technically she is, but it's like you're past her and she's catching up. Is she going to have a piece of toast in her mouth? Is she going to full Sailor Moon it? No toast. <sighs> Your little bow's quite kept together. You're still quite kept together despite the fact that you just ran and are obviously like, you know, out of breath and stuff. Overslept again. So do you just not set an alarm, or do you sleep through your alarm? Because you should get a better one, or multiple ones. Or are you one of those people that, that, that the body does the, the snooze? And it just keeps doing that, and you don't even mean to do it. Like, your body just does it. Because there's solutions to that. It's called, put your alarm where you can't just reach it. Like, where you have to make the active effort. I think they made one that was like an alarm where like you have to like finish a mini game or something because people who oversleep and it's like it just gets louder and louder and louder and will not stop and then you have to and it's like you physically have to get up and like do a mini game to make it stop and it's like no you can't unplug me I have a battery my internal battery is is something that you cannot remove uh, like you know just to be you know it's like no very str it's a good battery. Uh, but I caught you this time. Well, I mean, I guess you didn't oversleep too bad. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Aw, she's doing a cute... Okay, I'm a palp, but put my fingers together because I'm being chastised. But I probably deserve it. And, um... You knew this about me for, like, the longest time. This should not be a surprise, but okay. Um... Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I almost actively ran away. I thought about running away. That's less than ignoring you. That's considering you some sort of social threat and actively evading you. You know, I'm gonna dodge the nodge, as one might say, uh, to date this in a more obscure way that people won't know. Um, that's mean tech. I'm assuming she can just call me Tech, because we know each other from way back, you know, that's all good. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want to them to think we're a couple or something. I mean, you are a cute girl, but... To, again, Rick and Morty, get your shit together. I don't care what you do with it, you know, like... Put it in a, in a backpack, you know, take it to the shit store and sell it. I don't care. Just get your shit together. Just get it together. Get your shit together. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. She's like, see, kind of smiley. I guess you don't have it into you. And you to be mean, even if you want to. There's like a little, like you can see the flourish there. Like they used the little, I think that's called a tilde. Is that the right word? But, yeah, you know, it's just like, you can tell that it's sort of like a little bit of sass, but sweetness. Like a Sour Patch Kid. Some of the Sour Patch Kids in the commercials are actual sociopaths, because sometimes they'll actually really cause you harm or ruin, like relationships and shit it's not that's not sour that's fucking terrible whatever you say sorry <laughs> don't be smug now I can still run from you I'm confident that you're still a little tired and I could definitely book it even if I'm not particularly athletic I'm Get, you looked really short, and I'm confident that even at average height, the fact is, and if, if I have no sportastic things at all, 
I could probably totally just ditch you, just be like, you know what, it's your <laughs> smugness. Catch up to me now, yeah. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Most walkable city on earth, am I right? Uh, by the way, Tech, have you decided on a club to join yet? Um, no, but I feel like I feel a little, little, like, I don't know, premonition coming on that it's a little predetermined, a little faded. I don't think I have a choice. Everything in this life is just an illusion, free will, and choice. A club? I. What is this thing? I've never heard of these things. Do you mean like the thing that I could hit you with? Or like, you know, a suit inside, you know, a card game? Or one of those ones where it's like, mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch, and they got them ladies on the poles? I haven't been in one of those, but I've, I've heard that you probably don't actually want to go inside them because touching things and... You know, more power to the whole concept. It's just, it should probably be done better, you know? Just like, that's my opinion of it. I don't know. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Wow, dude. I mean, that's kind of lame. I think that, I mean, according to anime, that's kind of a big deal. If you don't do that, like... You better have your own little thing like, oh yeah, no, I'm an otaku, or I, I play video games all the time, or whatever, like, I choose to be a social outcast because I enjoy these things so much, I don't want to deal with other people. Or you're doing a part-time job, but normally you're, like, a club is a big part of the thing, even if it's not the main care, if it's not your main thing. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? You seem like the type of person that would definitely lie to me and gaslight me into, into sort of being like, I want you to join a club and you're going to join my club. You don't have a choice, either through manipulation, persuasion, bribery, or kidnapping. You're, you're, look, j don't struggle little, make it easier. <laughs> I'm small, but I carry a taser. And I know how to make... I know how to forge your signature. <laughs> and then I'll talk to your mom. And I'll, and she'll make you make... She'll make you go. <laughs> did I? I'm sure it's possible I did in one of our many conversations where I just missively go along with whatever she's going on. About. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Mm-hmm. Just fucking SNL Pete. Is it Wentz? The no, that's all right. That's the guy from Fall Out Boy. Whatever. The guy. The, the he's just like Chad. And he's just like, hmm, dope, cool, all right. Like just whatever you say. Just yeah. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on a on on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Boom! Called it. Well, my guy, I don't think you're fortunate enough to be an uh, uh, isekai protagonist, sir. I don't think you're gonna get truck-cooned into another world that's magical where you know you're you're the you're the lead guy i think you're just gonna be kind of sad lonely and neat -y. and you know like a neat and that's not gonna be great n-e-e-t um but i think it like as an antisocial person with a lot of anxiety i think a club could be good for you in your high school years i don't know if your high school or middle school their age range for that is different than ours um but more power to you i mean you, you spend your time as you want but join the club 
Oh, that's probably terrible advice given the, the trajectory of the game's potential. Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried... I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. I feel like that's fair. Um, yeah. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I mean, that's sweet. I think she sort of sees herself as like a little sister character. She may have romantic feelings, and that that's a whole anime Japan thing I'm not going to go into. But she's the girl next door slash childhood friend or whatever. And that, you know, that's that's whole... That's a, it's a trope. But also just genuine care as a friend to be like, please don't be like a loser who ends up being unhappy the rest of your life because you didn't form social skills and in your formative years. Come on. Like, you're kind of a dick to me, but you love me well enough, but I've known you forever, and if this is as nice as you get, you need help. The boy needs therapy. Um, and, and I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat. See, I called it! Boom, I'm fucking psychic. Neat. Um, in a few years, because you, you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Like, I do- I have not played this prior. Like, there are times where I have to take two, take three, or whatever. Like, I got... What was it? Uh, the quarry, and I kept messing up my recording. I, I didn't plug in my mic or whatever. So now I've got to, like, try to do the same thing over and over, and I'm, like, frustrated, so I've just taken a break. Um, but when I, like, say something where I, like, you know, I predict it, I didn't, I, I have not played this before. I haven't seen this. I don't know. Like, I just... Psychic, baby! Don't make me keep worrying about you. See, that's... That's some good wholesome emotional manipulation there that's not like toxic it's just like that's genuine concern coming from somebody who knows you for a long time is worried about your future path and you probably did agree to do the thing and they're holding you to it maybe you should not just nod and say uh-huh to everything while you ignore them that's kind of rude and now you sign yourself up for something that you don't want to do so i mean you don't have to do it but then be a jerk enough at least to be honest to say yeah no a lot of the times i just i just i just nod and say yes and i'm i'm totally tuning you out uh, all right, all right. Yay! I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. That's very non-committal, but all right. No promises, though. Again, very no non-committal. But at least it's kind of honest. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I mean, he said he'd try a little. I don't... I don't maybe, maybe that's a translation thing. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Okay, he said no promises. It's like, try a little. It's like, he said he would look, and I feel like that meant he's going to do it. But you want to promise him to try a little, like, as in try to, like, actually consider it, not just be like, yeah, I walked through the club, looked at, grabbed some flyers, and walked out. Because that might have been what he would have done. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Well, she's obviously not completely carefree. She may be carefree about herself and her time and, you know, overemphasizing the importance of sleep, but maybe not. Maybe that's just her body um, that needs more sleep and sleeps heavy. Um, but honestly, the, she cares about you and you growing up to be a healthier, happier, more capable, socially independent individual. That's pretty wholesome. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. How can you say no to that face? Plus, she's known you forever, and chances are she's just going to figure out another way to make it happen. Again, Carrie is a taser. Can forge your signature. Will talk to your mom. Like, she has pink hair, dude. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> she has pink hair. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like that's that's fair. That's fair enough to say. There's a lot of tropes with pink haired chicks, but I feel like she's small, petite, and has pink hair. Just just do what she says for the most part. <laughs> you know. I guess seeing her worry so much about me does make me want to ease her mind at least a little, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. The school day is as ordinary as, as ever, and it's over before I know it. I'm gonna stop here just because I talk, I talk too much. And just to emphasize that, I'm gonna reference something that I saw on YouTube, uh, a short with Travis Barker from Blink-182. And all it is is just this man who's a drummer. You know, he's a drummer from Blink-182. Um, drummers aren't known for being uh, particularly talkative people. They just like to drum a lot of the time. Um, and it's just him screaming into a mic like for a song. You talk too much! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You talk too much! And I'm just like... I feel personally attacked because it's coming from this guy who never... You know, like... But it's also just like... Spends an entire life, you know, basically embodying Silent Bob from the... Um... Clerks franchise. You know, Kevin Smith's Silent Bob. And then just, you know, breaks it down. Just like, it breaks it for just, breaks that character for a moment. Because every now and then Silent Bob will say something. So he doesn't usually shout. It's usually more of a joke, but... It, yeah. Alright, yep. Yeah. And in this, and... What is the deal with the papers? Why are they put together like that? That's distressing me. Why are they overlapping in such a way? Why does that seem significant? I don't like it. It's upsetting somehow. Alright. Also, is that a sponge? Do they use sponges as erasers? I, I'm thinking too much. Okay. Anyway, I'll be back in a second.